all right now i'm going to make this navigation link a dynamic all right let's do this right here includes folder and from here create a new in here create a new file name db.php all right here we will have our database information okay opening psp tag closing psp tag in between first dhn data source name is equal to mysql database host localhost db name blog and now try pdo is equal to new pdo first dhn then database username then database password get video exception and now let's cast the exception with this variable e and here echo e get message all right that's pretty much it now i'm going to include it in header okay here you might be tempted to use something like this just a db dot php but require ones or require doesn't work like that first it copy everything from this file and it's go to where you use and from there it starts searching this then it will not found so right so we need to go from the root directory so that's why i need to include here includes slash db dot php now let's see in browser just reload it all right everything seems perfect all right if we have an error there let's db dot php let's make this error here reload all right you see right here the error message all right anyway local host now let's make this dynamic so open index.php all right and their navigation is included in this includes directory includes directory right here navigation.php all right right here all about this part and this part okay inside right here opening psp tag closing psp tag in between here sql statement sql select everything from categories and then stmt is called to pdo prepare sql and here stmt execute and here no bind record right now just a while cat that's a cat is equal to stmt fit and when i explicitly tell it return as associated with a fate asok all right and cat i did call to cat cat underscore id this is database column name and here cat title cat title all right now i'm going to close it here and open it here and then we can write html inside this while loop right also you could use without it but it will make it easier right and just format a little bit and i'm going to delete this anyway now right here 
instant php just open your php tag plugin php tag echo cat title all right and here we're gonna send to when you click on this we're gonna send to the category page categories.psp slash id equal to let's call it echo cat id make sense now it should work let's see just reload all right we have two two categories right so we have two navigation only and for now just remove this active class from here all right if we click on php we're on this category page we click on javascript we're on the javascript page now we make this category dynamic no worry about this page right here all right now we're going to make the post dynamic all right here we have three posts but these are hard coded in html we're gonna make it dynamic let's do this okay very first right here all right this blog let's search right here and when you click on this then we're gonna send it to index.php all right it's time let's see if we click here we go to these categories if we click on blog then we're on the index.php page all right now open up index.php and from here our post this is post right and i'm going to delete rest of the post except the first one all right so right here opening psp tag and closing psp tag in between let's say first sql statement it call to first select everything from post and here is tmt call to video prepare sql all right and then stmt execute and we have no placeholder here so we do not need to bind anything here okay now while loop post is equal to stmt fetch let's explicitly declare here fetch as associative array right okay first post id is equal to post post underscore id then post title is equal to post title post description is equal to post description all right it should be d now post image is equal to post image and here post date is equal to this is not the end right post date then post cat id is equal to post post cat id also post status is equal to post status all right so we have here one two three four five six seven we might have left one what is that post date post category id post image title description image date all right so we have also author post author right is equal to post post author and right here closing psp tag and opening psp tag right here in between 
we need to write this HTML code. Just place it right there. Just format a little bit. Okay. Now right here in this PSP dot PNG, we need to change it to just echo post image and here post title right opening PSP tag closing PSP tag in between echo post title all right and here we should have something called uh, post description echo post description and here category right so first let's add here instead john echo post author and add this is here that should be date echo post date sorry it's lower get and okay everything looks okay and here we're gonna send it to single page single dot php just single dot php nothing more when i send something not now all right and here we need to create another query for this all right opening psp tag closing psp tag in between here we need to return the category using the cat title right or cat id here we have post cat id right okay first let's say sql1 is equal to select everything from categories where cat id is equal to named placeholder id and here stmt1 is equal to pdo prepare sql or it's sql1 instead and here stmt1 execute all right so id is equal to post cat id right and then here while loop cat let's say is equal to stmt1 fit at asoc right pdo or see asoc all right face asoc instead and here let's call cat title is equal to cat cat title right and then right below or inside whatever just echo cat title that's it and let's test it out it should work just reload all right everything looks perfect but there's some things here when i sh show less text than it let's do this how do you can do that okay we can use a function built in psv function called sub str sub str or sub string first the string or the text in this case the post description start from the character zero until 300 let's say 250 save it now reload all right now it looks pretty good right so now if we click on this see more then it lead us to this page here all right just it just leave us to the page 
if we click on title or it did not work so let's make this working or its title right here just for now i'm gonna send to the to the single page reload if you click here right now in the single page now this post is dynamic right let's start writing url rewriting rule all right so let's start first create a file name dot ast access all right and you need to type exactly what i type right if you misspelled or if you miss very little things just like speech it will not work right so follow me accurately first if module if module mod underscore rewrite dot c now if this module exists this is work like if else state if statement all right so if this mod underscore rewrite dot c this exist then run code in between and first rewrite engine on o n right o must be uppercase and then rewrite bit and on this directory it start rewriting a rule right applying the rule in this directory localhost slash block right and then first rewrite a rule if we make a request okay first dot plus and this is regular expression it dot mean match any worm and plus mean zero time or more time of that all right and then slash parenthesis css we have css file to accept then we have image file and we have javascript all right and then backslash parenthesis dot plot and dollar symbol and dollar symbol indicates the end and this carrot symbol indicates the start right and now dollar symbol two slash dollar symbol three crazy right no worry about it and let me talk about that this dollar symbol to mean it here it would be match whatever in this it is one it match one and then it each it is two and it is three we can access the match it just all right it just catch or store the map match result and we can access it like so so dollar symbol two it will match css image or j javascript and right, for dollar symbol three it will match this one whatever inside dot image or inside dot j or inside dot css directory right and it will look like this image slash let's say node.js dot png this image matched by dollar symbol two and node.js dot png matched by dollar symbol three and here dot plus mean exactly what it is make sense and here bracket l mean it's indicate last all right now rewrite condition rewrite count percent request uri if the request uri each contains with after block slash index index dot something or index something after index right and here plot then rewrite rule all right rewrite rule here carrot symbol dot plot and here dollar symbol and 
redirect to this page index.php and l if it is processed then just stop here this condition all right and here this condition will work all ages and this rewrite condition and this condition will only works if we have something like this we type something like this localhost slash blog slash index dot jh or dot html or something else if it is have dot index then it will return us to this index.psp page and then stop there because we have here l if we don't have here l then it will follow everything after it right and that's not useful and now rewrite condition again another condition this is like if if this is true then it happened all right and there's for this there's no condition just direct rule so it will happen all ages all right if we do not add this line here then the css image and javascript will not work properly then here condition percentage request file name if the file name the request is a directory and that not exist all right then it will true and also rewrite current so here percentage instead not dollar symbol right also here and here request file name if the file not found if the file found then it will not work right if the file found then only it will true and if we type a directory like let's say blog slash category slash id if this directory doesn't exist in our project folder then it will true and here if something like blog slash category dot php if this is exist in our directory then it will false then the next condition will not work that we're gonna write we're going to write right now all right so here rewrite rule this rule only work if this two condition is true right and more specifically we get as here something or then it is like a or b like this make sense and that's how it works now here rule first carrot symbol dot asterisk and here dollar symbol now index dot php slash url is equal to dollar symbol one all right what is this the dollar symbol one mean here this match it will match everything after this blog right something like if we have something like blog slash url and then something let's say category or let's say post let's say id1 and here then it will be the match would be post slash one this dollar symbol and it just store it okay and here we need to use flag called qsa it's for query string right and there and l do not put speech right here okay and here this qsa for query string first let's see i'm gonna talk about it before that let's see what is this underneath let's say right below sorry this is i just used for testing purposes just echo get url now let's see reload there's nothing right so let's type something here index just or it's a post here you see post right does it make any extra sense if we have sent post slash one sorry it doesn't work but what do you see here 
post slash one no worry about it we're going to fix it and it is working right and for the previous or if we have something index and it return to the index.psv page if we use index.html it not exist but it start with index right so it's send us to the index.php that's pretty much it okay now let's see why it's not working in this st access file first i'm going to recheck it rewrite bit okay that's great and dot plot it's fine ch image or javascript here's everything seems okay but the problems one more time let's reload here it says style sheet is transferred with meme type text slash html that's not good and it's happened why because we are using here this or we just use it for testing purpose and i forgot to remove it from here all right and uh, let's see reload now it works right what do you want now post slash one it's kind of working now let's move on and in the next video we're going to work with single page see you there in this video we're going to work with single page or post details page first of all open index.php and in the post is5 tag right here single dot psp question mark and then id is equal to and here echo post id and just copy it from here just put it and now let's go to browser reload sorry now let's see if we hover over on this title then on the left bottom corner you see something localhost slash blog slash single dot php question mark id is equal to one and for the id is equal to two and also it worked for see more right let's click on this title and we are on this single page right on the single page but it hard coded in html let's change it to uh, regarding to the post id right so for that let's open the single.php and right here first and i'm going to create a query right below here instead we could okay i'm going to create the query right here opening psp tag closing psp tag sql is called to select everything from post where post id is equal to colon id all right here we're gonna set a set a request method first if first let's say is set get request id is equal to id is set then we're gonna get it right and also here i'm gonna get the id by the query parameter and this the id we can get like so from here id is equal to one right and right below here stmd is equal to video all right video then prepare sql video sorry stmt execute and right here id is equal to the id got it by the query parameter while post stmt fetch video fetch asok 
all right and here post title is equal to post post title post description post post description post image is equal to post image and also here post cat id is equal to post post underscore cat underscore id post date all right post date and post author is equal to post author post author right so here let's say post author now right here i'm going to check how much okay the the count the row if it is not found anything in there then i'm going to say something called it's not found okay let's do this not now we'll do this later first here okay and i'm going to close the piece with it right here and open it right here php and cut it and paste it right here and format a little bit and that's pretty much it now we're going to just little bit formatting anyway now we're going to change this category and also title also here the the post author and the date and this text okay let's start up with this title opening php tag closing php tag here echo post underscore title and here opening the psp tag closing psp tag echo post author and here date at echo post date all right and right here post description echo post ds description and also image right here image slash echo post image and in alt tag echo post title right and that's pretty much it and we have just only hard coded value here javascript all right let's leave it like this for now and now let's see reload or you see there title should i learn php in 2019 posted by john to september 2019 text everything looks fine right perfect let's back to index page let's click on this is not just killing php all right it's not dynamic now let's make all to this category dynamic so right here instead we need to make here a query right so let's make a query right here sql1 because you have already used sql right below all right all right top right here sql so we should use some different all right and here query select 
everything from categories or or get id is equal to is equal to get under underscore id and now stmt1 is equal to pdo prepare sql1 and write for stmt1 execute and define one parameter get underscore id with post get id all right now while cat is equal to stmt1 in here fit and type pdo fit asoc all right and here let's say cat title is equal to cat cat title that's pretty much it right now just echo here cat title now let's see now i think everything looks perfect now let's test it i want to reload a javascript go back to home page if we click on this should I learn php in 2019 okay now it's php it's dynamic right everything now looks perfect now let's do a little improvement of this single page all right so if we have this post like so one okay it's good if we have two if something we change here let's say three that doesn't exist then it show just comment something like that it will, will hide it later but let's see we're gonna show here some message that's a no page found something like that okay so let's do this it's actually very simple okay first count is equal to an account the row row count now if count is equal to one okay and then i want to just cut everything from here just cut it and paste it in this if statement if okay else if it is not that the get else here we're gonna say something called let's say echo p no post or no page found single quote we already used double quote right let's say alert alert danger now let's try this out now reload else statement unexpected else statement all right we put somewhere all right what you did is unexpected sorry for that we should put it right here all right so reload now it say that no post found now we're going to work with category post first let's go to dot ht access and here we could use easy easiest approach but i'm gonna use your the dot ht access by using url rewriting so let's use it for that you need to change this to category.php url okay only it works when it's go to category category slash something okay so right here it should be now two it points to this one okay now let's go to first categories.php and right here okay condition what do you want to do first condition get the id cat id right and then check check if the 
ID exist in database then do something if not then if not then say page not found pretty simple right so let's start up with it first if is set okay get url and right here first let's say get url and let's call it id is equal to i'm gonna just echo it first let's see okay i'm going to home page and if i click on this php then all right so i do nothing here or right? it did something but it do not working like so anyway it's not like this category slash let's say two it's two okay it's working right now i'm going to check it to database first okay so for that let's create a query or the sql statement select everything from post or in this case categories in fact category it where cat id is equal to id stmt is equal to pdo and prepare sql and here stmt execute all right and here need to bind the parameter id with id and while here post or in this case cat is equal to stmt and here fit fit as of it's optional but i like to use it anyway you can always uh, leave this part here and here post get title is equal to get get title and get id is equal to get id all right now we're gonna check here count let's say count all right so right here first count check count is equal to stmt row count now if count is equal to zero then here say first echo div in between page not found and in between here class single court alert alert danger anyway and exist here if it doesn't or it doesn't exist anyway so for now let's see what's going on there check it first okay category to hit enter okay we're good to go let's say if we put here three all right page not found crazy right anyway so count is equal to zero then it's a page not found that's awesome but we don't want to show it right here all right so let's call it error is equal to true and we want to show it right below the all right right below nap right here okay open open this with that closing this with that here if error is equal to like so sorry and then just 
all right and here i could say echo div is not found anyway and then exist right here and it will not run any code after it just just exit from here this page and just reload is not found all right so let's give a class alert alert danger anyway just reload here page not found it's working right there if we have something let's say it is exist too all right undefined variable error okay for that we should use here something called is set to get rid of this now let's see all right it's gone very simple right now let's do other things and then if it is exist or to do something and instead putting this right here i think the good are the right place to put it right here okay right here that's pretty much it and then we could say and right here or it is category just a call post or cat title makes sense it's very useful it's very good yeah let's see now what's going to be happened reload get to cat to each category javascript cat to one all to javascript what's wrong there Java cat id we already used it here instead let's see what's going on there cat title all right php right and if we have here let's say two javascript more time one php but it's not updated so category title let's change it to something else the variable name cat underscore t we change it to cat underscore t now let's see php right and if we have sorry two okay now it's working great just get rid of this now it javascript now it php right now we're going to we need to work with this post let's do this right now and right below here let's remove the post except the first one and right here let's create another sql statement okay first opening psp tag closing psp tag in between first let's call it sql1 we have already one so we need to call it sql1 select everything from post where post cat id is equal to post cat id anyway they need to call it s stmt one is equal to pdo prepare sql and then here stmt one execute i need to bind the parameter right here post cat id and right here post all right so what is the name right there id just id and now while post is equal to and you can just copy from indexed and 
why we should write all the text all the text right just copy it first the while loop and what it is this is in categories right first the while loop and here the stop the while loop. all right now in between we need to we can write html also let's copy it from index.php it's very very useful i think so copy this div from here and paste it inside right here it's kind of great all right and let's try this just reload all right uncourt call to undefined p p r made the spelling mistake it's a silly mistake prepare right now let's reload just one post because we have only one post for php for javascript let's say one post all right but post not updated what's wrong there one okay i'm going to get rid of the pager first we'll work with pager a little later right not now and here let's check it why it not working all right sql one stmt one here all right here's the problem use stmt one instead we use stmt just now let's see what's going on there all right post id undefined index 39 everything is now undefined all right so let's see what undefined stmt and select everything from post where post cat id is equal to post cat id okay we do this uh, very good but let's see the first echo id id one right it's kind of kind of okay but execute all right so what's wrong there prepare all right here we should have sql one another mistake now reload all right so we have two post why we have two post right this is static we should delete it now i think everything's well one yeah it's great two yeah it's fine if we click on this let's see it's not just killing no it's not it's not working if we click on this see more it's not working let's make it working for title let's see what the title is here it is then we need to refer to the single dot php what's wrong there all right category sorry category one right if we hover over here we see on the left bottom block slash category slash single category slash single dot php all right so if we use double dot here reload see it should work now okay it's okay it's working for two yeah it's also working great and for this one it's not it will not work but we're on this same page no worry about it but also let's make it working first Okay, so category where the category is here it is category and dot slash let's say call here 
category slash here echo post cat id let's see reload all right this one okay so we need to get rid of this now it should work let's see reload okay now it should work same thing right if you click here okay if you click here it's not work so let's make it working just go to index.php all right so in fact not in index.php for now first let's see here category right category slash here echo post cat id post cat id and it should work for index post cat id if we click on this cat id right here and right here all right so we need to get rid of this category now reload if we click here all right it's working right so now let's make this working this navigation let's flip over to navigation.php and right there okay here it is it's pretty simple actually if we just say first let's see what's showing up there okay it's good but it's not active let's make it active right now so what could you do regarding that just here let's okay turn it operator it's alternative of if else all right so echo if cat id is equal to cat t or whatever there id maybe id then active if not then not let's see what's going on there okay it's javascript i mean javascript activity also working isn't that great right fantastic so now we are done with the category post here a little improvement let's see what's going wrong there now if we reload okay it's good if we click on php all right what's wrong what is it all right let's fix it if we click on here it also all right so first open navigation.php instead doing all the crazy stuff just type here http slash slash localhost slash blog slash category and that's it right and copy it and go to index.php and paste it and also let's go to category and here too just do this and now let's try this click here okay it's good again let's back to home page if we click here in this video we're going to build the search engine all right first open navigation.php and very first last we did this index.php and here instead let's type http colon slash slash localhost slash blog slash index.php all right and now scroll down here right here okay first method is called to post action is equal to here again localhost first http slash slash localhost slash blog slash source dot php that's very interesting right and here it's name val and it's name submit sorry this is not name it's type no worry here we not need to use specify any name right now let's go to this search page and from here 
we just will send this value from this input field the value from this input field to this source.php script right so first we'll get the cured by post request okay let's get it first if okay it's set post post request here val if it's found then let's call it key it's called to dollar symbol then post and val all right now let's do something else here url is equal to localhost all right http colon localhost slash blog slash source then source.php question mark and here key is equal to dot just concatenate it key all right now here header location just url all right now let's see what will be happened okay let's use your curly braces and now let's try this out just reload we type here let's say hello all right now we're in this screen and key is equal to hello what do you want right if we type something let's say hey now key is equal to hey make sense now we can get this text from here now instead of showing this hard-coded javascript we can show the value user typed at the source key and for set region i'm using here so it set okay post val and here if it is true then post val if it is not then nothing and here echo now just reload search result for nothing right there okay what do you do here all right instead let's use here get get val and also here get instead val here you're gonna get it from this query parameter just key and here too Let's try to reload. Hey, and if we type here hello, if we type here JavaScript, all right. What do you see? I misspelled it. Now worry about it. Now we're going to pull data from database. That means the post, depending on this search key. Okay, let's make this functionality. First, I'm going to delete the hard coded post except the first one all right just delete it remove and here opening psp tag closing psp tag in between here let's say sql is equal to select everything from post where post status is equal to status let's say and post title like not equal let it like here let's say title and here stmt is equal to pdo and prepare SQL and right here is the empty execute we need to bind to this unnamed placeholder first status okay for that let's create a variable status is equal to published sorry pub list okay and here status 
then here title is equal to all right so get the the strings that we passed to the query parameter in this case this one key is equal to whatever in this case javascript so here let's say key and we not want to be the exactly same or like this or or like this but we want to get it if follow the if the word contains in the post title all right concatenate it and also here percentage and it will make the trick now it will it will match if the text in this title or in this query parameter contains in this title and then it will return that and now i'm going to use count is equal to stmt count row all right now let's say first echo count let's see what's happening here all right so undefined count row i'm sorry it should be row count reload there's zero nothing found right if we say let's say javascript yeah it's also zero if i say php it's true all right it's kind of working i think let's see and now if it is zero then let's see if count is equal to zero then here echo div div here with the clutch alert alert danger okay and in between here let's call it okay i'm going to concatenate here and here let's say danger okay it's just hard coded sorry why concatenation record here no post found okay that's it if it's not zero then we have something right so now let's go to index.php and from here copy this code all right copy it and paste it right here all right paste it right here and we just stop it right here okay no worry first okay i'm gonna copy the whole while loop instead let's say instead okay so i'm gonna just copy this part from here just paste it and end of the while loop this it okay and i'm going to close this the the psv tag here and here opening psv tag and in between we can write html and in between for that i'm going to copy this code here copy it and paste it just format a little bit anyway all right now here let's change something first post image is okay here single is also okay post title localhost category everything seems okay and posted by both post author echo post date everything i think is okay let's try it out first oh we should remove this post from here now let's try this out just back to home page let's search for javascript all right no post found now let's make this or uh, show this in the middle or uh, we could say 
we could say okay it looks good and just for now i'm going to hide the pager or the pagination just hide it okay now there's no post found right now let's search for php okay we have two post and this is our simple search engine okay and here one more important things here we could use this also for search on category but for this case let's leave it like this search for all post okay all right in this video we're going to build the home page pagination and right here it should be right let's start off by by commenting out this pagination and just now reload all right this it now let's work with it very first let's count the post and right here opening PSP tag and let's count how many posts we have in the database for the SQL it's equal to select everything from post all right and here is TMT and here is the STMT is equal to PDO prepare SQL and here is TMT execute now count post or let's say post count is equal to HTMT row count and now let's say echo post count let's see just reload here we have two post it's great right now let's create a variable called total pager total pager is equal to here let's say post count divided by post per page okay and sometimes it will return fraction we want to get the sale of it okay here post post per page is equal to let's say one for now and right below here we want to show this pagination only if the total post okay first opening and closing PSP tag if the total post total post or post count in fact post count greater than post per page okay if it is true only then we're gonna show it here just cut it all right so just format a little bit all right here just closing PSP tag and here opening PSP tag and inside I'm going to delete this okay and right here opening PSP tag and closing PSP tag I'm going to cut this line and paste it right here okay and right here let's say for dollar symbol i is equal to zero i until total pager total pager all right so total pager and i plus plus okay then let's give speed and in here correct echo 
single packet single court and right here instead this hard coded one okay let's concatenate it first and here we can write variable let's say i that's it right so it start from zero okay, let's change it to one and here equal then it should work let's see how many pager we have now reload all right we have two pager okay, if we change this post per page to two then we have nothing right that's because now it's post per page is equal to our total pager and that's why okay that's good now we need to make the functionality okay right here in this ace rep right here we're gonna send a query parameter and the page number right okay for that index dot php question mark page is equal to here again concatenation no worry about it it's very simple it's just concatenation right and here dollar symbol i now let's see reload if you click here and we have page is equal to one if you click here we have page is equal to two right and that's what we want now okay scroll top and right here if get is set first get page it's set then page is equal to get page okay and if page is equal to one then page underscore id is equal to zero if this is not that the cage then page id is equal to okay here important things here post underscore bar page times page all right page here let's use parentheses and minus post bar page oh it should be repairable okay and if this is this page is not set else page id is equal to zero and page is equal to one all right now let's change this query right here i'm going to set a limit and here first let's call it limit post page id and here total page post per page now let's see reload okay just to have one post if you click on one we have one post this one if you click here now it has this post all right okay this is not active now this is a picture active picture is two all right here's let's say if dollar symbol i is equal to post or sorry page here instead page underscore id plot one then it is active let's cut it paste it right here and all right so right there and here we're gonna say something called now here else okay paste paste it right there and and here let's say add a class active that's pretty much it it should work let's try it out just reload now active page to click here active page one right so let's move on and in the next video we're going to work with this trivia and next now we're going to make the functionality for previous and next pager let's do this and right here I'm going to okay 
here opening PSP tag and closing PSP tag in between here I'm going to say if page ID is equal to 0 then okay just make it in one line and okay just cut it and and I'm going to paste it inside this echo and inside here I'm going to say there's nothing need to change right if not that the get else here let's copy this copy and paste it right here all right now here it will change something right here let's call it index.php slash question mark page it called to okay here concatenation and here page id plot one that's it and previous it equal to or it is previous right it's minus one should be all right instead let's say here we do not need to use it minus one just this is all right just we need to inside need to write okay page id now let's see if it is work reload click on two i go now previous i can't click on previous right so we need to remove this disabled clutch from here and reload all right now you can click previous it's good if you click on two all right it's good back it's working right now let's make the functionality for next it's also pretty simple first make this in one line and here again opening psp tag closing psp tag in between here i'm going to use a for if sorry if statement if page id is equal to all right page id is equal to total total pager if this is the case and here should add one if this is the case then next should be disabled echo and here class did about that's it and in else statement just copy this code and paste it all right now let's see if this is your work all right it digibled first remove from here okay if we click on two now it's digibled all right now make it clickable right now let's make it working if we click here it's, it's nothing it's pretty simple actually if we just add here something let's say index.php page is equal to all right right here let's say concatenation and in between dot dot and here we can add variable let's say page id plot one all right now let's see if it is work warning no numeric value encountered all right it should work instead let's see right here first create a variable page id is equal to or let's say next is equal to page underscore id plus two and if we just change it okay here's some problem maybe okay index.php it's good now page is equal to all right and right here let's say and dot dot and here next it should work let's try it reload all right so here we we'll click on two sorry we we'll click on two it's working and if we we'll click on next all right it's problem encountered on 18 non numeric value all right the problem is here right 
just put it like here right so okay dot dot in between here we can add variable let's call it next now if we reload or let's say back to home page and here we click on next now it's working right so back next previous next period all right it's worked just fine right all right i have inserted one post in the database right now let's make this pagination works in search page we hit enter without anything anyway we have these three posts now let's make search skin right here sorry a pagination right here okay first open search.php and write below here and from index.php from here just copy this code i'm going to copy everything inside this psp tag and i'm going to paste it right here all right so from here we need to change here select from post where post title post title is equal to not is equal to this is like okay like okay let's say it's title post title p underscore title anyway and here we need to bind it we might have okay let's change this click the little change this is sql1 this is stmt1 this is sql2 sorry sql1 this is stmt1 and here stmt1 all right and in this execute function or you could say method p underscore title is like key or we could use something called get request key and concatenate with percentage all right also here concatenate anyway and now this part should work i need to change something right here and here limit first page underscore id and all right so here variable instead and post per page all right post per page post per page all right so now it should start working anyway let's go down and in here just copy everything from this index.php and it start here copy all right until this one copy it and i'm going to replace this this pagination okay and let's change something here and here instead index.php we should use something called category sorry we are in this search.php all right so here let's change it to search.php and page but we also have something called key right key is equal to an ampersand and here another concatenation in here let use get key okay and it's fine i would just copy this this concatenation here all right until this one just copy this part and paste it 
all right and one more here paste it and instead index.php here search.php it is also right search.php and is there anything else okay so search.php it's two more and here search.php now let's see if it is work i'm going to reload all right we have three pager it seems to work next all right so undefined index key 45 19 let's see 19 what we can do regarding that undefined index key all right so you got it if it is not set then also we want to redirect the user all right so like so also let's copy this or we could say okay just copy it for now right here and here we could say let's see get and here key now let's see if it is work reload first it redirect to this okay, anyway just go to the home page and here search let's say nothing it's a three return right so search key is equal to just empty okay so let's say key is equal to here i'm gonna search with p okay cool now if we click on next all right so key is equal to p and p double question double question mark let's see what it is double question mark and it should be right here okay i will just remove it now this time back to home page search let's say p search p all right so this is should be page one also key and let's see what's wrong with it for this type of pagination all right so we're not at this right here we should also add it there copy this code and paste it right here let's see what's wrong there reload reload right and search p okay this should work if we click on one all right if we click on two all right it's working three it's also working back two it also work it's working next let's see all right for next we have to change all right we put two question mark right now let's see reload click on next it also working isn't that beautiful right all right now we're done with this search page pagination all right now we're going to change something in category.php page we are using here ht access or url rewriting here i use url rewriting just to introduce in this new world of url rewriting all right so now i'm going to read a bit so for that i'm going to just here use instead id okay get id also here and inside no more change record i think and here one more thing that we can change here it's pretty easy i think very easy if we just get rid of this 
and here one more important thing that we have here the cat title somewhere let's see here it is so why we need to query again so it just just a bad practice right now if we do echo cat underscore t it should work right this now looks good here in chance look okay, at this is category dot php then question mark id is equal to all right and that's change you need here we also need to change in search page to search page let's go to all right right here category dot php question mark id is equal to and let's back to index.php all right let's see where the post here it is just dot php question mark id is equal to all right and there's something neat for single dot php maybe single dot php is there have that category link there all right there's no link and let's back to navigation.php and right here what it is right there and here category.php underscore question mark id is equal to something all right here one more important we write its category but it should be category i'm absolutely sorry for it categories.php and let's do this category and again for index.php category search.php also here category right now let's see if it works reload if you click on javascript all right it's working we click on this PHP also it's working right it's pretty cool right if you click here we're on the same page that's cool if you click here PHP and we're in the PHP category now in the next video we're going to add pagination for this category all right now we're gonna build pagination for category post let's do this okay first open categories.php all right and let's go to search.php and copy everything from here just copy it go to categories.php and right here i'm going to paste it all right so right here instead using this type of git request okay so this is not a search page so it's like or it is this is like this git all right so we're going to just remove this one from here Okay, here is going to select from post or post title like it should be post cat ID is equal to here. Let's say what it is ID. I'm going to say ID here. Is there any idea I use later? All right. So we can use your ID and then our ID is called to post cat ID is called to ID and prepare SQL one. It's good. Is there any SQL one already? No, this is okay for this is SQL one. So let's change this to SQL two. This is STMT two. This is SQL two stmt2 
and here id is equal to just here id or you could say get id and here post count everything looks okay and now okay so right here limit page underscore id post page post bar page okay and then scroll down and copy everything all right from here to here just i'm going to copy it and i'm going to replace this pagination here okay so right here i need to change this is categories.php and this is id this is categories.php this is id equal to all right so for next one this one it id here also id and it is categories dot php category i e at categories dot php right and also for this one id this is id this is categories dot php and for this one id id and here categories dot php right now let's see if it did work reload all right it's a variable undefined line number 33 scroll okay 33 heritage stmt1 it should be stmt2 instead now this time to reload okay it's not working i think php it's category right id is equal to one it's do not working what's going wrong there all right so i think something may up here maybe all right so what's wrong here get id everything looks okay but here limit all right here it is we should have dollar symbol this is variable this time i'm going to reload all right one post if you click two all right on the second post preview next it's working that's pretty much it right here no pager because you have just only one post all right here this pager functionality will not work for multiple posts per page it only work for single post let's see all right no worry about it i just i just switch my text reader to sublime text no worry just use whatever you are using and here let's say post per page equal to 2 post per page is equal to 2 and then reload if we go next now this active page is gone and also some crazy behavior here right so let's fix this Pretty first i'm gonna count the post the post title is active right so let's change a little bit here where post status is equal to status let's say and here let's get a variable status is equal to published and we need to bind it here and here's status all right with the variable status that's pretty much it and let's scroll down and right here i'm going to say if is set get p 
page if it is set then free is equal to get page minus one else free is equal to let's say zero now here instead using that we're gonna say prep part one if it is less than or equal to one then it will work and for this one let's say here if is set get here page right let's call it activity call to get and here page if it is not set then you're gonna say active the first one all right get sorry get sorry not get just just one here right and here instead page id plus one just want to patch your active now let's see if that work okay just back reload click on two all right it's working also this previous previous page are working right let's click there it's not let us to the back so what's going wrong there okay just use your preview instead it should work let's see now just reload if you click preview now it works right now let's make this next fader working right so let's go back there all right and here right here i'm going to just remove it if is set here get page so it should be page and here let's say next it equal to get page plus one right else next it equal to whatever it is one let's say for now and here instead this one we're gonna say next minus one and here let's say greater than total post and instead I'm gonna say like so now let's see if that work all right so reload if we click all right there's no option to click there back if we click next it work if we click previous all right it also work right now I think this page are perfect now let's change this two to three now reload all right it's back i have three post right click here all right it's sorry just click on next all right it's working right there's no problem with it all right now everything worked just fine right now make sure it works also in the search page also category page or category.php let's open it up and here where category is called the category right here it is not her pager all right right here we also want to count the post that have our status is status published and let's call and post status is equal to status i'm going to create a variable right here status is equal to published and here to bind that also first status and here status variable just to have created and scroll down let's go there and right here okay so if the same function already in fact if is set get page then pre is equal to get all right page here minus one and in here just need to change it to pre plus one and less than one all right and here need to change this page id to pre and for here if right here is set get page if it is set then active is equal to get p 
page else active equal to underscore here or sorry here just one right all right else active is equal to one and let's just change it to active all right let's just change it to active and then right here I'm going to just use if statement is set as all I get page and here next it call to get page all right so if that not the case that means if page is not set then next it call to one and here instead this one let's say next it call to that's it pretty simple right and let's do this for the next all right for the next search.php and first of all right here we need to use also and post status is equal to status and let's get a status variable right here status status is equal to published okay and in execute here just comma and status sorry status and right here is the status the variable I have created and scroll down and right here just I'm going to copy code from this index.php okay so for that just right here i'm going to just copy this this code and i'm going to paste it in search b right here all right instead of this one just let's copy this part this condition instead of writing i'm kind of lazy right you can write it just paste it right here and change it to prep and next and from here just copy this code and paste it all right right here and change it to active just all right active and scroll down and also from here just copy this part and just remove it and paste here okay the condition here is that this one and the condition is this one all right so for this page this page now everything looks perfect let's test it okay so blog all right click on next it works just perfect right let's search something i'm going to search with empty nothing it will return everything right so let's change this screen to insert skin three per page let's say here three per page all right so just reload it if we click next all right it's perfect click next all right oh i forgot i click on one anyway it's working right perfect per category we don't have been a post i think all right and that's pretty much it all right so everything worked just fine and let's add a post on the admin blog localhost slash admin localhost slash blog slash admin it should be all right just sign in with your current all right the current credentials and from here add new post all right let's say new post so html5 let's say all right the category let's say html5 and status published choose file let's say 
Anyway, I'm going to go to pictures, premiere, choose whatever photo we want. I'm gonna just choose this one. All right, hello, just copy it and paste it some more time. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Just submit, okay, post created. One more post and instead I wanna kind of lazy, right? So here I'm going to just change this PSP to let's say this one to HTML and I'm gonna change the photo to let's say this one okay let's choose this one just update first okay now let's go to vlog if we just reload what you see there right so it's kind of great now let's go to the categories HTML5 there all right it's say undefined variable prep on line number 98 let's fix it very quick 98 or it is this is 98 right undefined variable that's completely fine we should have something called speed which equal to zero now let's reload it there okay we have three post three pager instead when I show there that's a two part page okay so let's say just reload here you click on next click on next all right it do not work anyway two all right it worked previous it also worked next next or not work for next we have to change something there maybe for that all right so here we should have something called plot one instead i make this mistake there just reload there all right just back what's wrong there right so still do not working let's change something there so here we made the mistake we should have something called minus one right so now it should work let's see click on html5 next next all right it's work somehow one next okay it's working right it's pretty cool isn't that so now for pagination we have to change a little thing there all right so here we need to change something's called we need to add next is equal to two right instead one and also for categories and right here next is equal to instead one just change it to two also for source.php next is equal to next is equal to two right there all right that's pretty much it now it should work all right just go back there if we click and hover we have three on the left bottom right page is equal to two and if we go to let's html and if we hover here page is equal to two right now if we hover there's no hover option right so back it's working kind of working right awesome and for blog this one let's say next working again next working right so previous two and previous one yeah everything looks pretty cool now we're going to work with comments first let's go to database localhost slash php my admin select the database and select post and go to structure and from here let's go and it's called post comment integer length 11 just save it all right so default value let's put a default value zero save okay now let's create a new let's create a new database table name comment with five column let's go in the first field name comment id integer type 11 length and auto increment just go and here comment description text there's no limit comment date 
let's say worker comment author comment author worker two five five two five five and comment all right post id comment post id and it's integer and it's let's say 11 now let's save it now we're going to insert some comment let's call it great post ever date let's say 12 september 2090 comment date let's say 12 september 2019 and comment author let's say barik comment post id one let's go all right we have inserted one comment now let's go to our code editor and select single.php let's scroll down there and first we want to read the comment right here opening psp tag closing psp tag right here sql statement let's see here sql statement we have two so let's say sql2 is equal to select everything from comment and then here stmt2 is equal to pdo and then prepare sql2 and stmt2 execute and stmt2 execute then then here let's say comment count is equal to count row all right just count row oh, first sorry I should have stmt2 count row now if let's say comment count is equal to zero then say echo no comments okay and if it is not that the case then let us use your while of a while let's say comment is equal to stmt2 fit okay let's declare here pdo fit as of and right here let's say comment comment author is equal to first let's say comment comment author and here comment description is equal to comment comment date comment is equal to sorry this is comment date is equal to comment comment date all right so it has three and the post image or comment let's say here profile image is a static image no worry about it just gonna put image right here anyway so a title so author comment and date all right so here let's say i'm going to close this psp tag right here and opening psp tag right here i'm going to cut this part from here and paste it inside and format a little bit 
all right so right here i'm going to just delete this two comment that not record at all all right it's kind of okay this one this one and it's kind of looking okay all right so instead using the hard coded tree let's use your opening psp tag closing psp tag echo comment count and here in this image we're gonna just say profile dot this is my image jpg no worry about it you could put whatever image you want right here you could do the link as well and here comment author okay this it should be the author okay echo comment author and right here php and here echo comment date all right and here let's say something called opening this with a closing piece with like in between echo comment desk or this sorry comment and let's see if it is work just reload all right so it's a undefined count row i often forget this one all right just one comment right isn't that great all right so comment on line number 71 71 where it is let's see it here comment all right so now let's reload it okay it's kind of it's kind of looks good all right let's work with comment here we're showing all comment but instead we want to show your post specific comment let's do this right now okay it's pretty easy actually and we have to just see here where comment id sorry comment post id is called to id let's say in execute right here id is called to id what we have or what we got right here all right here it is makes sense or we could use your more special speciously to get id it's even more better let's see reload okay it's good if we go to other post let's say php and here this one let's say it's a single dot id3 it's wrong here something okay let's go to blog next you will click here all right no comment so this post is not working or it is just okay javascript if we click here it does not work okay just let us the single dot page and this is happen in this post on the categories page let's solve this very quick on category page right here all right so on single post right this is here happened that if we see here http localhost slash blog slash single dot php anyway reload if we click here all right so it's not working still categories dot php categories dot php and we're on the right place oh we should also add this in the title is five right here http localhost slash blog slash that's pretty much it 
reload if we click here okay it's working great here's no comment let's go all right now let's make the functionality that user can submit comment on specific post okay let's go to browser first sorry let's go to core editor and right here first i'm going to just cut this line and i'm going to put it right here instead okay so something let's say echo and here also and inside just get rid of this psp tag echo and also this one and i'm going to just concatenate it right here also right here okay now let's start to work with it first opening psp tag closing psp tag in between here if first we're going to detect the submit okay if is set post submit comment if it is they try to submit it then you're gonna say here okay first name is equal to post is equal to this field name is name so here name and description post yes sorry comment and then here let's change this name to comment now i'm going to trim it first trim and also this one just trim and let's check if empty name or empty the comment if they're empty then here you could say echo deep okay it's closing tag and here let's say no comment sorry please fill the form and if this is not the case then here when i make a query right here Let's do this. Okay, need to make it semicolon and let's say SQL4 is equal to insert into comment. And here first, let's see the field right here. Okay, browse. Anyway, here this is let's say call this is comment description, comment this. comment date then comment date then comment author and then comment post id values l u e s first let's say comment second date the third one is author the fourth fourth one is the cp comment cp id comment post id and here i could say well, stmt4 is equal to pdo prepare and sql4 all right and here let's say stmt4 execute first one comment with comment variable and comment date okay i'm gonna add it a little later now comment author just here author okay sorry name 
variable here we create it and write here comment or cp id it at cj get request instead get id anyway now comment id let's say a date for now new date j y f it should work and for okay we are date table site called anyway now let's see okay it should what's wrong here oh we put it outside here date now it should insert it now let's try adding new comment reload right so one comment there where is it on comments first comment count here give it a space anyway so here if we add comment it will not work let's add some something in here okay first it's a method it equal to post and action it equal to http local host slash blog slash single dot psp slash id is equal to okay here let's say echo get id now let's see it should work now reload we say let me make a mistake here okay all right so just leave it blank it's a please fill the form let's give it a nice bootstrap clutch please fill the form what it is this is here clutch is equal to alert alert danger anyway let's reload it okay so give us nice little or uh, styling anyway let's try at it's called md dot a dot baric hello world submit all right execute sql invalid parameter number parameter was not defined in 104 104 parameter is not defined comment author all right here the mistake all right comment then author then here should have just okay so for date and this is should have before this one and author and cpid this time let's see reload one more time okay it should add it reload one more time let's do just let's okay now let's try add it new user md dot a dot baric hello world let's say submit reload sorry let's see in date of it all right it's not added there something wrong i think let's check it here first if we see here echo hello world let's say reload sorry reload here let's say something just dummy submit hello world all right so here may be something wrong let's take it insert into comments comment date comment date comment author comment post id values comment date author cp id 
and something wrong here. We miss this parenthesis. And then video prepare. Everything looks okay. Let us test it one more time. Sorry. Just reload. Let's try it. Hello, hello. Anyway, just randomly submit. Uh, now let's say reload one more time. Or right, it's added, right? So, what's wrong there? Or what's happened? It's not at directly so let's each header here once each success or right here location single dot php okay question mark id is equal to and here id that's it let's see what's wrong there or it should work if we add here, let's call it md.a.barik. This is a comment. Alright, it's added. And it's started working, right? So it's do something wrong right here. So first date, October, October. Alright, there's no problem at all. It is completely fine. First, but here we're gonna show the name and here we're gonna show the date. Let's make it working first. And for that, we have to change this comment author to here and this one. We should so show it right here, and that's it. Now just reload. Okay. This is name, this is date, this is comment. Anyway, you can put whatever whatever logo or photo you wanna put, right? I just put my photo here. Anyway, if you go to other post, let's say JavaScript, this one, there are three posts, three comment. If you go to this post, you have one comment. Let's try add another one, let's call it John name. Awesome post give it off anyway whatever you're gonna add here just for testing and it's added there all right it started working and one more important thing whenever we add the comment then we wanna also update the so something here in post let's say here what you wanna update here we're gonna update the post comment how many comment in the post have so let's do this pretty quick and it's actually pretty simple another query need to create here sql5 is equal to let's say update post then set okay this field name is post comment post comment is equal to post comment plus one where post id is equal to id okay and then here you would say stmt5 is equal to pdo and here prepare let's say sql5 and here stmt5 just execute and here the id with the id that's very much it now let's see if that works first i'm going to delete all comments just delete yet i want to delete All right, let's see, and now it's empty, right? Just reload, there's no comment. And now let's do this. If we add one comment, let's call it md.a.barik, here comment. You are awesome, man. 
and submit it's happened like this and now if we check database reload we have comment one comment and the comment post id one the comment for the post id one should have one comment let's see all right here one comment right let's try and another one let's call it john great great so let's say we are programmer submit all right it's for my computer right it's maybe not happens to you anyway just reload here Now see here we have two comment right and that's it and that's very much it for this video in this video we're going to work with the administration area or our cms you could say content management system okay let's type here localhost slash block slash admin hit enter all right we are in the same page so for now just get rid of this dot ht access just delete it and we're no longer using it all right now let's just reload here all right now we're on the admin page first of all when we type this block slash admin then it send us to page sign sign in page and there's only sign in user that means only can admin can access this backend you could say it's called content management system okay first let's make it reusable here let's create a folder inside this admin folder includes inside here let's create a file name header.php another footer.php and db.php okay db.php first open index.html okay let's change the extension to index.php and from here just cut this part of code and paste it inside header and open index and right here opening php tag closing php tag and here recover recover once includes folder includes folder from includes folder header.php right and scroll down there and right here just cut it and put it in folder.php and just here okay opening and closing php tag in between require once includes slash folder.php now let's open new and dash post.html and change the extension to php all right and here just remove this part and here require once includes header dot php right scroll down and right here also what we have in this footer let's say footer okay just body and that's it body and that's it no worry about it just let's add here and here require once includes footer dot php very simple right let's open now sign in dot html very first rename this all right so this one rename it to sign dash in dot php and here just get rid of this and here record once okay include slash header dot php all right that's pretty much it also let's remove it we could leave it like this don't worry now i'm gonna just do this also we do not need here the the to script that lower in us just for now just use here recover once 
include slash footer dot php and also let's open edit post dot html just rename it to edit post dot php and from here just remove this part here recover once let's say recover once okay so dot it in the current folder and header.php all right and scroll down and from here just remove this part and let's say here recover once all right here recover once include slash footer dot php all right and let's open comments.html now change the extension to comments.php and right here just remove this part and recover once okay includes slash footer dot php and at the top at the top right here all right opening psp tag closing psp tag in between recover once right here let's say include slash header dot php right includes slash header dot php and here it must be lower get and one more left here categories just rename it okay categories dot php instead all right so it's very simple very simple actually just remove it there recover once all right so includes slash header dot php that's pretty much it and for let's see for this one just get rid of it and here machine mark anyway recover once right here let's say include slash footer dot php and here double right now let's see if this work just reload okay everything seems working let's say for categories page all right categories dot html now right not html php all right it also works for edit post dot php it also work new post dot php all right it also work right everything seems perfect let's see one more comment dot php all right let's see. do here one more thing here db.psp we do not record here right so we already have in this includes folder the root directory and right here i'm going to open header and from here i'm going to import the db right here remember it we should not we should think about this is now in this file index or whatever file we're browsing right so recover once and here dot dot let's go to the this directory all right now we are in the admin folder make sense and then from admin folder we need to go to includes includes all right and then inside here includes we have db all right so sorry not here db dot php let's see if it is work let's reload it there okay i think it's working it's working let's make a mistake here let's see here just one dot it should not work right all right it's a it's it's not working anyway make sense that's pretty much it reload it's working all right let's move on and then in the next video we're going to work with this backend all right in this video we're going to protect our backend we're going to give access of the backend if the user is authenticated all right first the user need to 
need to let's say sign gn sign in dot php right here the user need to be sign in if the user credential is correct only then can the user go to the admin panel or the backend you could say cmh also for now let's go to localhost slash php my admin sorry php my admin and select the database and let's create a new tables users with four columns let's go first field name user underscore id it's type integers length 11 and it's auto incremented go here user name it's type of burger it's type of burger right it's length 255 and this one user email it's type of also burger length 255 and user password all right and it's type of burger 2 and here length 255 now i'm going to save it all right it's created let's insert okay first go to structure and select users and from here go to insert and let's say name mda barik email mda barik 19 at the rate gmail.com and this part is my password copy and paste okay go all right let's back to our admin page and here now let's check we want to protect this it's not accessible by all the user but only the authenticated user all right for that let's go to code editor and here let's select index.php under here all right opening psp tag and closing psp tag in between here we're gonna say if is set if the cookie let's call it cookie will be something that you can store in browser and we can access it like so okay let's i'm gonna call it user authentication ua whatever you want to call it if this is not exist all right then header redirect the user to the sign in page location sign and dash in dot php and in order to use a header we need to turn on output buffering all right here ob underscore start all right now let's see if we can access reload now we can't access this page admin all right now we're going to this it's really us to this page so let's do this for every or uh, the all page we can access on the back end okay so i'm going to just cut it let's copy it go to categories and right below here paste it comment to here it's paste it also let's call it here i'm going to paste it and new post to right here paste it and also here okay so no sign in is your ears it's not record at all make sense and now let's go to browser reload now we can't access any of the page in here if we try to go to categories all right it should be php instead we can't access or let's redirect us to this page now we're going to get the data from user and we're going to check the data in database if this mass this user in this case right say let's say all right if the user enter what the user enter it match with this data then only then we're gonna we're gonna send them to the backend or that means it, that's called cmh content management system right so once all this correct then we're gonna set a cookie on browser then we use cookie on uh, for checking if the cookie exists then we're able to access there understand 
Now let's make this happen. It's pretty easy, right? Isn't that? Let's see. And right below here, I'm going to say, okay, instead right below right here, opening PSP tag and closing PSP tag. We're gonna take if the user submit, I'll click on the sign button. Let's give it a name, name it equal to submit. If user, let's say is set here post submit the user click on the button all right here we have to do, we'll give it an action the same page sign in dot php sign in dot php method is equal to post let's give a name for all the field name is equal to user username and here name is equal to user email and here let's call it name is equal to user password okay let's put a dash here it's easy to read right and then once the submit first let's say echo you clicked on submit let's see reload if you could click on submit it say you clicked on submit all right it's very pretty cool right so here i'm gonna say first if okay let's use that later first let's get the user name is equal to whatever user enter post user dash name this is this name right user email is equal to post user email and also here user password is equal to post here user underscore password and let's use your trim DRM trim all right so it will remove the outside page trim and also here trim right and right here let's say if empty user underscore name all right we're gonna check everything right here if this is or empty user underscore email or empty user underscore password then we're gonna say echo div this is closing tag right in between here let's say plate okay let's say field can't be empty but let's give it a nice class class is equal to single quote alert alert danger let's see if it is work else Echo worked. That's just to work. Whatever it is, no problem. Just reload. Sorry. Just click here. It's a field can't be empty. User email and user password is undefined. Whatever it is. Okay. Instead here, it should have dash, not underscore. Right? It should have dash. Now let's see here one more time. Reload. If we click here field can't be empty if no field is empty then let's say sign in okay let's say whatever it is no problem okay worked everything fine so let's make the query right here i'm going to say sql is equal to select everything from users okay here st empty is equal to pdo and here let's say prepare sql and here let's say stmt execute and no parameter record while let's call it user is equal to stmt here fetch let's call it return as associative Area so a btc page asok and right here i'm gonna 
test everything okay for let's say user okay, instead of that, i'm gonna say name is equal to user uh, user name maybe let's in database user name okay user underscore name right so it should be underscore in database index name or field name i could say then email is equal to user user email and password is equal to user user underscore password that's pretty much it right now i'm gonna close it right there okay have only one user though no problem we could use it like so and in here let's say if this is a if username this username and this username is equal let's test it this name and user email is equal to let's call it this time here email and also user password is equal to password okay let's say that's it the term is right so instead doing that okay then we're gonna say here something called okay everything looks perfect else let's call it if it's not then echo div div here and here you're gonna say called class is equal to alert alert danger okay here into single code instead and let's say here wrong credentials credentials all right so it's wrong if not everything looks perfect let's call it echo perfect here we can save the cookie and redirect to the user to redirect it to the backend and anyway just now reload this page just click on sign in with that can't be empty right let's call it barik this is not exist right let's call it this email now sign in it's a uh, perfect what is that all right so something wrong here okay let's leave it this php tag right now email if we sign in wrong credentials it doesn't match let's see here mda barrick email mda barrick 19 at the red gmail.com and we copy this and paste it right here if we now click here it's a perfect all right now you can set the cookie and then we can redirect to the user to the cmh the index or whatever you want all right so let's say now set cookie double okay set cookie first the cookie name we use ua underscore all right now here let's use if i'm gonna we can give it a, whatever you want let's give it a right here let's give it a time okay time plus 16 it for 20 minutes it's for 20 minutes right it equivalent to 20 minutes all right then empty empty and empty and here true if we use your true then the browser with browser someone will not able to get it keep someone can access our cookies but we're not restrict here you could say here too all right it's second now we're gonna say header location index.php pretty easy right now let's say reload if we make a mistake here let's one more time at the red dot something dot com sign in wrong credentials all right now let's make this correct mda 19 and here let's say call this time just copy it and paste it there now sign in all right just to go to say save now we are on the index page now we can access whatever page you want let's say categories.php we can access it we can access whatever page you want let's say we want to access sign in.php we can access it so let's protect it right and also protect that so for that let's copy this same code and just paste it right here or whatever you want i'm gonna paste it right here okay 
it should work just fine okay you're gonna you're gonna say here you're gonna say index.php let's see if it should work reload all right so just back all right it's great we can access it so let's see we have a cookie there one cookie if we just delete this cookie this is ur cookie right this is the md5 generate this one and it's for 20 minutes let's see it's exactly for 20 minutes it will expire in 20 minutes if we remove the cookie and reload here see now we are where 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 it's whatever just remove this one for here okay and let's see reload now we're on this page you will try to access categories page now it's not allowed you are not allowed all right so it's kind of cool right cool and here you could say if this cookie is set then when i send it to okay send it to index page or not no longer able to access this signing page anymore okay so let's see reload Let, now let's try here current credentials and sign in we're on this index page now we would try to go to sign in.php it's not allowed because we're on the sign in let's see you close the browser and you open it again what's going to be happen all right now if we try to access slash blog slash admin all right so let's see it's allowed right because the cookie is still set it will expire in 20 minutes after 20 minutes we need to sign it again that's how we can protect it the backend or cmh and here now we're going to make the functionality for we can delete post we can add post we can add category we can delete category and we can uh, work with comments and stuff like that all right let's move on all right now we protect this backend from accessing any user right now we can make it random here just we showing up two posts right now we're gonna get it from database and we're gonna pull it and show it here right so let's make it working first okay let's open admin folder from here index.php and for navigation category it and for navigation i'm going to make it reusable component okay first let's do this here require once include navigation.php all right now i'm going to open include and let's create a file name navigation dot sorry navigation dot php and here i'm going to paste it right so now let's back to index.php and right here everything looks okay and here i'm going to change i'm going to change this okay i'm going to use your http it's kind of crazy right no worry about it for now localhost slash blog slash admin slash index.php i also want to make it working here let's say uh, just copy this url from here and i'm going to copy and paste it right here also right here okay and it should be post dot all right it's not post in fact it's for okay so what it is it is in blog slash admin index.php what's going happened back here post if we click here admin slash okay it's good it looks good right and for here also instead index.php and here let's say just send it to index.php all right reload if we click on post it's good categories now in the categories post all right so i need to make the reusable component let's go to the other part here just send it this to index.php index.php and categories.php that's pretty much it 
and let's back to categories.php and just get rid of this nav here opening closing PSP tag in between require once let's say uh, includes slash navigation.php and I'm going to copy this line from here copy it go to comment and I'm going to put it there edit post here also just put it here for index page we already have for new post we should also do that okay now let's see if it's work admin post categories everything looks work right it's perfect now let's start work with this post right there let's for that let's open up index.php right there and here I'm going to say all right 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 inside this T body okay I could say opening PSP tag here closing PSP tag in between here let's create a query SQL is equal to select okay select everything from post and then here SQ ST MT is equal to PDO then prepare SQL and here as the empty execute all right and then while love while as the empty not say as the empty let's say here as the empty fit as PDO fit as associated very all right and here first we're gonna count the row how many how many posts you already have there right so let's do this right here okay count let's say count is equal to count row count maybe I openly forget this this function okay this is method in it gets we press yes and row count okay it's pretty easy and pretty easy and let's say if count is equal to zero then say echo no post found if this is not the kit then go ahead echo all right else and inside else you're gonna use this while all right so right here let's say first okay first post underscore id is equal to post underscore id then post title post title is equal to post underscore title then post cat id and then here post cat id is equal to post all right post cat id and here post status is equal to post status is equal to post status or the important thing we should also use your equal symbol to miss it anyway and then all right so here we need to get the let's see what's in there post tag we do not using tag here let's get rid of this from here to just remove it and also from here post tag instead we're not using it no longer right and that's pretty much it for now and i'm going to delete uh, the post you could say the post except the first one okay and here let's just make it a little bit good and here it should be instead t it's td right all right so here i'm going to just copy everything from here i'm going to copy it all right here let's close it here let's open it all right so i'm going to say paste it right here inside 
and format a little bit all right so into format okay it looks perfect and here post id right echo post underscore id and here post title okay let's say echo post underscore title and here okay you need to make a query a, another query don't worry it for now just here let's say echo post post status all right here it's this is not and for comments.html here i need to say comment.psp question mark id is equal to and here echo post id and here instead two here it should be like so okay let's call it for now echo post comment okay let's make this variable right here right inside okay post comment is equal to post underscore comment it should work all right so action this is post this is for edit no worry about it for now just leave it like this for delete also now let's see if it is work let's go to browser just reload all right so we have dynamic dynamic post all right let's get rid of the pager for now i'm going to just comment out here this pagination anyway now uh, let's reload here okay it looks very good in the next video we're going to work with how to add new post all right so before that here we need to little update and this post category is not working anyway so let's make this working for that let's go to index.php in our root index.php and from here this is just copy this part okay cool and let's go to right here admin index.php and i'm going to okay so in this whatever it is this is php right here and opening closing just for now paste it there just format a little bit just format it And from here SQL 1 SQL 2 everything's from here instead post all right all right so category sorry same things prepare SQL 1 ID to call to post cat ID all right so fade cat title everything looks pretty cool now just reload all right now we have dynamic category 2 let's see if that true PHP so localhost slash php my admin and let's select database blog and from here right for let's select database blog and from here post all right we have categories one two one this is post cat id all right everything looks perfect all right the cookies expired need to log in again right and just i'm going to sign in okay so i'm going to work with adding new post right so let's go there new post dot php now let's detect or when the user hit on create post all right so first let's say here i'm going to say okay here it should be question mark instead if is set here post here post here post create or let's say here create post maybe create post instead let's see the name of the submit button create post all right so it's okay now we're gonna detect it right echo let's say hello world first 
just reload it if we hit or enter click hello world all right and now let's get the data from the field the user entered first let's say user not user in this case all right so first let's say post title is equal to all right post and here post title title whatever the name here let's check it one more time okay this is post title right category cat id in fact is equal to post and here the name for it let's give a name here name cat id let's see here cat id all right here post cat id then we need to send also post status right status post post status then here cat under sorry post status and instead making it like this okay let's use your dash and also cat id and this is name cat id okay it's okay then we're going to get the image then post content let's get the post content first post content post content right and here post post content after getting post content then we have to give a date right post date post date is equal to let's say date function built in PSV function j f y it will return like this 12 october 2019 like so all right this is post date then first here's what you're gonna do now let's work with the image first comment here we have three pipe right and here we have on the post one two three four five six it auto right and post comment it also zero post cat id post status all right post auto like here first post author i'm gonna say here let's say mda barrack or whatever name just it hard coded right no worry about it much and now post image okay here we need to use instead post we need to use files super global variable and name of the image field is image maybe post image i choose post dash image okay for that let's print it for testing purposes our post image i m a g post image let's see just reload sorry just reload this page and if we choose the image here let's say whatever image and from here let's select any of the image i'm going to choose this image open i'm going to now click on submit this is post status is undefined index and post title also let's fix it very quick just here we see array we have an array name an associative array inside there okay name is equal to the file name type is equal to okay the file type jpt and here temp name it the temporary name and error also size all right so now let's get work with it all right here it is and post status maybe right below post status for it status right here all right so let's give a name here instead name is called to post status now i'm going to reload one more time choose an image this image if we say submit okay we get this type we have an error right so this image is longer than so let's test it for this one 
this side image size 192 kb open your know, right side here so the image must be at least 3 megabyte make sense first we can access the name so let's get access the name here right here okay so first let's get access of the image name and name and this is uh, sent to the data page okay and then post temp image is equal to files let's say files and here post image the image name and the associative array is temp name temporary name or is temporary located right right here all right so instead putting it there i'm gonna just temp underscore name let's use it there and tmp underscore name is that name correct all right i'm just copy this copy from here and i'm going to paste it here okay save it just get rid of this print all right and this file is now updated uploaded when you upload the upload it on a temporary location all right now we're gonna send it to the server okay mob for that we have, a, we have a function called mob uploaded file first the file name here let's say the file name is post temp image or the temporary image and then where the second parameter where we want to store it okay let's call it go back to admin just dot dot and from here image from there image and here let's say variable the post image name all right now let's see if we wanna see it let's see image there okay first we're gonna see it in real time let's see okay just we're gonna see it in real time so now let's see if we upload a new and let's say this one and if i submit take a look at here bloomberg this image is inserted here and then the image name we can send to the database and that's it we can use image here right so let's make the screen bigger all right and now let's do this now we're going to send the image to we store the image right here i'm going to delete this image all right so and now we're going to check if nothing is empty for that we need to use a long if statement empty for post title if it's empty post cat id all right and then status empty post status and then empty post content or image all right and if it is empty then echo say field can't be empty f i e of the field can't be empty all right so here let's class is equal to single quote alert and alert danger right and here if it is not that the get else statement it will work and here we'll update or insert the post to the data page right it's pretty simple actually so let's see what it is just reload here one more time okay just reload if we make empty or not put anything else there submit fields can't be empty all right so let's make this working first now now it will work if nothing is empty so for that i'm going to insert the the insert the user into data pad. okay so let's do this right now sql is called to insert into post where not where here post title okay let's see second field name post title post description post description then post image all right so post image 
post image after post image we have date after post date we have post author and then post author post cat id post cat id and then what else post status all right so and here i need to set values values is equal to here for so post post like and here when i say image and here let's, let's say it. date here let's say author and here let's say cat id and then here let's say status all right now stmt is equal to pdo prepare all right here sql and then stmt execute now we need to bind here everything right so first title with post title and then we need to bind post post content then we need to bind image with post image all right then we need to bind date right date here just post date and now author author here post author and post cat id here cat id here right and here post cat underscore id and post status maybe okay it's the atus status and it underscores status pretty important right that's pretty much it now we're gonna say to insert a post we just reload okay here post title new post title here let's say category javascript and status published and let's choose the image from here i'm going to choose the same image o open all right and here here some post content some post content don't worry about it for now just copy and paste it sometimes all right now i'm going to just submit all right let's change database if this is submitted or inserted all right we inserted new post and let's go to our front end if the post is there all right so we have four right four pager i think it's there i copy we click on four all right we have here it is awesome it's working right if we click here that's terrific awesome maybe add a comment let's say baric great post submit here it is it's comment great post everything is working right it's pretty cool isn't that now let's go to admin our backend and from here let's if we click here okay let's make it work in this link here let's back to index.php all right this is index.php and where it is this is right this is let's search for it new post here it is Just post okay new new post.php that's pretty much it and we're gonna give you a night alert there when i give you a night alert when the post is successfully submitted let's see for div okay let's say post created successfully here yeah, let's say go back a let's say go back and here i could say a strip is equal to index.php all right single code there right single code and here let's give a nice bootstrap style class is equal to alert alert success 
it's bootstrap plus nothing related to php all right so now let's see if it work just reload all right so 20 minutes is gone so you need to cookies over or expired sign in click on add new post let's try adding second post and let's say php published let's choose the image choose an image there let's say here i could say this image height is more than three megabyte okay let's say this one okay let's choose this my image right there over and here the great post just copy and paste it some more time just see and submit all right post created successfully go back okay it's not working maybe for why it's not working each rip it should be all right it should work if step dot ph it should work right i'm not going to test it one more time again okay let's back to admin all right second post it's created zero comments awesome it's working and that's how we can add new post all right now let's make the functionality for editing user if you click here it will lead us to the page edit page right so let's make them working okay first we're gonna send the post id to the edit page okay first in index.php right here method post i'm gonna send it to edit post.php all right so here i'm gonna send the hidden form like this okay, just copy everything from here just paste it right there just all right and all right we're going to handle it in different bit and that from here let's say hell okay and method post and here edit post dot and everything looks okay just you need to use value for delete all right value here should have edit post okay so we can get the val or the I post id in this post edit page let's go to edit post dot php pretty first i'm going to see here if the user send get request i'm going to send them to the home page okay if server server super global and here request method request method underscore method watch is not post request okay uppercase post then if it's not post request send just send to them to the home page location index.php all right so let's see if this works reload if we try to go to all right so somewhere something wrong here all right here is the problem we should put the we missed this okay reload okay edit if you click on edit then it will send us to this page okay cool if we make a send here a get request all right we're back to the index page we can't access by get request that page that's working now let's get the first the the post id in this edit post dot php okay for here i'm going to get the first first i'm gonna set it set post bell okay just echo let's say let's say here pid is equal to post super global here bell and here it also should inside quotation right and here let's say echo pid now let's see what's going there reload if we click here it should have one okay it's one the post id right with that post id let's grab data from our in this case database and show it as default value here okay so for that i'm going to i'm going to go to index.php all right and from here i'm going to copy all the query from here this query all right so let's copy from here to here this part and paste it right here just okay 
I'm going to get rid of this else if else statement there. There's no if else statement record anymore. And just back, just format it. And this is for the if statement. And for the while, let's say here back a little bit. And this is for while loop. And here, let's say, okay, that's very interesting. And now we're going to just remove this one from here. PID val. Okay, so here post ID, right? Get it from data batch now. And SQL post and it here you need to use where post ID is equal to PID, right? And we need to here bind it. First, let's say PID is equal to PID. All right. So then we get all the information, title, category, whatever we have here. So pretty quick. One trick we need to follow here. We need to use a hidden field import for storing the ID. All right. So a hidden. Sorry. Input type. Hidden name. Let's say hell also and here i could say something like all right so instead of hell let's say edit post id and just stop it that's pretty much it right so now we need to change something in this form here method should have post method request and then action to this page or edit post.php okay here it also have multi-part from data so ink type is equal to multi-part multi -part slash form data because we have image here not just text okay and now i'm going to show the default value in the input field for post title there i have post title right and then let's copy it from here and here value is equal to Let's say opening closing PSP tag in between echo this edge. And there have just option, right? It's, I should make it dynamic first. Okay, let's back to new post. And from there, I'm going to just copy some code from here. All right, this part of code, just copy it here and just paste it. Okay, just make it like say, let's say here, paste it. And that's how it should work now anyway so now let's see we're gonna work with later in here and for category post attach no problem at all whatever I did and then here let's say upload post image okay here we have should have an image okay let's say IMD let's say here okay source source is equal to this it okay echo just first image post image all right so here we have to go to dot dot slash imd slash that's very much it and let's give it a cloud here all right i'm going to use your default style let's say width 50 pixel height 50 pixel all right so for this post content here text area let's say value is equal to opening and closing psp tag echo and here post content all right we should have here let's see we have it or not and for that cage so it should have post content there's no post content right okay post content is equal to post post underscore content all right here post comment you do not need this right here okay and for that cage let's say this is very simple actually and if this is the cage let's say if it is work first i'm going to back to admin all right it's the cookie expired i think now say it and 
sign in now click on edit let's see post content is online undefined indexed post content all right so here uploaded image it's not get a correct image path from there anyway so for that first it's a post content is not post disk this should be whatever it is all right so let's see here it is post instead post de here instead post underscore this that's it and reload one more time here okay it's gone we have this text data is here publish no worry about it your post content here okay, let's go back there reload click on edit here title is see first post content we didn't see there so what's wrong in the post content and in the post content value echo post content right but it didn't show up there okay it instead we do user it's not work like that okay so you should put in between the closing end all right it do not have like so just put it here now let's say just reload one more time okay so we have this this post content right so something's going to crazy something crazy here called let's say 30 by now reload it's related to styling right now it's work it's fantastic right now let's see image what's wrong with this image let's see the see the url here of the image source okay i'm going to inspect this image inspect all right so here image okay it's not an undefined variable post image post image is not there what's wrong here post image is not there okay so whatever it is this is there's no post image right so let's make it post image is equal to post underscore image now if i reload here okay we have the image right here that's cool right everything looks just perfect now we want to update it let's do that but very quick let's make this working this php and this post status are selected the correct one okay so for that let's go there first status here okay this one option and right here you could say something like here we should have something published let's work with first publish and dropped ed published all right so let's get post status from the database here and post status first post status we already have that right so let's go back here in here where it is here right so let's say opening and closing psp tag if sorry if post status data is equal to published published then if it is published then it would be say select selected else nothing all right so let's call it echo here and i'm going to copy it i'm going to paste it right here also if it is dropped all right so i'm going to copy from here this i'm going to copy from here i'm going to paste it right here and if it's dropped okay let's see now it should work reload all right published let's make the post dropped who is post this one i don't know let's go back okay, let's make the drop the first post all right so this one dropped let's call it empty dropped and reload if you click here edit Ooh. now see this status is dropped just reload it make sense and let's make this category category dynamic there right so post category with id right post cat id you already have here where it is and post cat id you all already have so 
right here instead okay right here option opening and closing PSP tag if cat ID is equal to let's say cat post ID then I wanna say it's selected instead if not then just this one and here you need to use echo it should work let's reload it okay cat post id undefined variable post cat id instead post cat underscore id right so now if i just reload it should work the okay, php i've been going to post that is published or javascript now we have the javascript category there right awesome now we one more important things for our front end we need to update it let's say for it also shows up the all right it also shows up the draft post so let's just do this very quick it's very simple actually just index.php and where cat id is called to id select from all right this is not and this is here okay where post status is equal to status okay so let's create a variable here called status is equal to published all right so here and to just bind it there it's very simple right status is equal to just status that's it very simple let's reload all right it's not there that's good let's go to admin okay now let's say we edit now if we submit then it should update the post so let's make it working first what we can do regarding that so if it is updated successfully then we're gonna send it to the to the index page okay let's do this first and I'm going to go to bang the bottom and right here okay for edit post right I'm going to go to bottom and right here okay let's go to new post and let's copy from here all right let's go there and just here copy everything from here just copy it all right and go to edit.ph.editpost.php, paste it, and we have to change something post title, cat ID, this name we have to put there, okay? So this is update post name, it's called to update post, all right? And this it should have a name of post content, and this should have a name of image image and for the should have a name of cat id this should have a name all right here category here all right it's category right it's published post status or right, it's not category instead here we need to have name status post status and here we should have the name for post or let's say cat id instead and here post category here right so let's say here name all right here name should have something called all right post title cool right now let's go down and let's see what we can do now so for that we want to update first for the query query is pretty important insert into the there and value you need to put here where now okay so not it not work like this okay just send it a little bit update post update let's say update post 
and then here to set set post title is equal to title then post this set to all right here post post image you need to set to image and post content we need to set to content let's say post date here just sorry post date is equal to sorry date and here post author is equal to just author let's say author and post cat id is equal to here cat id and for status it's called to status just get rid of this and also for this type of things and now where where p post id is equal to pid let's call it post id all right so now i need to bind it one more parameter here i think so one more parameter and to bind it one more parameter is post post id is equal to okay let's get it from the post id right here post id is equal to post here edit post id whatever from it is comes let's see all right so it comes from this one edit post id here no value right so let's give a value here instead just do nothing here okay so here value is equal to let's say echo here post id that's pretty much it and is there exist post id yeah it exists now let's see here okay so post id right and here let's say instead using here p o s t i d and let's create this variable right here edit post id post id okay so you could say let's change it a little bit remove the underscore from here edit post id now i think it should work if everything looks perfect instead showing this message we want to send this to the home page header location is equal to index.php that's it and let's see if this works just reload one more times okay okay just reload everything looks okay let's go back click on admin if you click on edit let's say should I learn in PSP 2019 let's say what each PSP instead and change the status to published and take an image here let's say my image no worry about it just submit all right so it's post title it's type of email we should have its type of text instead okay so i think here it is post type email it should have text instead Text. All right, now let's reload it one more time. All right, so anyway, just reload, edit. Let's say, what is PHP? What is PHP? And here's that. Let's say published. Choose an image. Choose an image. Let's say my image. No worry about it. Just it is test right. Submit so here's the most important things that we're missing something here something called update post all right we're just using here create post update post now let's try one more time this is it's not field post image undefined indexed post image so what's wrong with it i couldn't find anything wrong with that so for that let's see what's going wrong there okay instead i wanna i wanna see let's say for the form there okay here i think multi part right that's why it's not working maybe and for now let's see 
reload back and back let's say trapped published post image let's select the image my image let's say now if we click on submit all right it's updated awesome right now we can update the post let's try to go to our localhost frontend localhost slash blog all right this is the post all right it's updated how fun it is right awesome and now we can update post edit post delete post and also add we can add new post all right so in the next video we're going to work with category all right in this video we're going to do a little improvement for edit post all right so for that first just copy this code from here okay just cut it from here and i'm going to put it right below all right right below this is to tag just paste it and here one more important update just remove this post image from here okay in admin we see something that or not works if we just click on update post we do not choose an image and click on update post let's say now if we click again edit now see there's no image right so what we can do we want that if users do not choose an image and we want to use this previous image that he were using right so let's make this functionality work for that we need to create another query right here okay so first underneath here i'm gonna say if empty if this post image all right here underscore post image empty then we're gonna make another query here sql let's say sql tool let's say three here okay select everything from post where post id is equal to let's call it id all right and it's pretty important actually all right so let's say here post id is equal to id and here stmt3 is equal to pdo prepare sql3 right and then here stmt3 and here execute okay and in between here we need to bind the parameter this one okay so the parameter is id and we're gonna bind it with post id right we have here all right so that's pretty much it now let's say while let's call it pst p is post okay stmd3 and here fetch let's call it pdo fetch asoc all right here i'm going to say post image is equal to p here post image and that's pretty much it and if we try it let's see if it work i'm going to going back there just reload this time reload if i choose an image there let's say first let's choose this image node.js if we update all right click on edit we have image if we click on update again all right now click on edit let's see all right we have the previous image right all right in this video we're going to make the functionality for deleting post all right if you click here then this post will get deleted so let's make it working so here we'll use good approach all right so right here I'm going to create opening PSP tag, closing PSP tag. All right. In between here, I'm going to first detect this delete. First, let's say this is type submit and here name. Sorry. Sorry for that submit. Here name is equal to, let's say delete. Delete post. All right. This is name submit okay instead put in like so i'm gonna just use an input type here input type 
submit all right this is the name and let's say value is equal to delete now let's give it bootstrap clutch for make it look like link button button link and that's pretty much it right so now also gonna hold the the value right here okay using input type hidden hidden right and here value is equal to okay PSP opening PSP and closing PSP tag echo here post ID all right so here dollar symbol instead all right so let's give it a name a name is called to hell so now let's make this working right here if we click on delete button let's say here if is set post delete post delete post you clicked on on delete anyway let's see if it is work for now just really just reload it if we click on delete right here all right there's nothing okay so we have to change something there okay here action should be index.php and here method should be post all right now let's see reload it if we click on delete now see you click on delete now let's make a query to delete the post all right so first get the get the id all right id is called to let's say here pid post id is called to post we can get it we store it in this hidden form right and name it hell if we now echo pid let's see what happened there reload sorry just reload click on here it's id1 if we click here id2 and with that id we can delete the post from database it's very easy or sql sql2 is equal to is there sql3 okay delete from database delete from post where post id is equal to pid and here sql3 prepare okay first stmt is equal to video prepare right this sql sql3 and here you could say stmt execute I have to bind one placeholder here PID with PID we have right and then here that's very much it I need to just reload the page location just index.php that's very much it now it should work let's try it just reload here just reload if we click on delete all right it's deleted if we click here it's all right it's deleted awesome right so now we can delete it all right now we're going to work with categories let's start with it okay here let's make this dynamic for now okay so for that right here open categories.php and write up that this t body opening and closing PSP tag and right here let's say SQL SQL is equal to all right so select everything from categories all right and then here is dmt it's called to pdo and prepare prepare sql dmt execute all right now while here well let's say category is equal to stmt fit that's a pdo fit asok cat id is equal to category and here cat underscore id cat title is equal to category and here cat title all right and i'm going to close here the psp tag and i'm going to open here psp tag okay 
okay in between there I'm going to just copy this first the first table row I'm going to put it right here just format it okay I'm going to remove this from here all right and this is for okay this is first ID echo cat ID and right here echo cat title all right and right here categories dot php everything looks okay in here in values echo cat id all right we don't want to let the user to delete it all right so just we can edit it or we can add it so for now let's see reload now we have all right so just remove this table here this table header from here okay delete you can implement it it's very easy and right here it should be td instead all right so sorry just select it td instead all right okay everything looks cool now let's work with this insertion we can add new categories okay let's start up with it and for that i'm going to here let's say right here opening psp tag closing psp tag in between like if is set if we click on this add new here then let's call it add new cat okay so let's call it here add new cat you can choose whatever name you want i'm going to choose as my all right as my choice or whatever you call it anyway so here now i'm going to get the title from here name is equal to let's say cat title and here i'm going to say let's say cat title is equal to post cat title let's say first what we enter there we get the right things reload all right i need to log in again because the cookie expired categories let's say hello if we click on add new all right it's nothing happened so let's add here action to the same page categories.php method it's called the post it should work i think so let's see okay now let's see undefined index cat title whatever it is okay it's underscore it's not underscore it's dash reload reload let's call it hello add your category hello here we will get the correct things now i'm going to trim here let's say trim you would trim all right it will remove the outer space now if cat title empty cat title is empty let's say if it's empty if it is empty then just say variable error is called to okay div and right here if it can't be blank all right so let's put here a nice bootstrap cloud as it equal to here let's say alert alert danger anyway so right below this one i'm going to say opening psp tag closing psp tag right here if is set the error variable if it is set then let's call here echo our error that's it let's see now if we say it's reload here hello we click on this okay there's nothing okay if we space enter nothing here if we click here how field can be blank all right it's kind of working right so now let's insert into data page else let's make a query here sql2 now insert into categories and category let's say cat title is equal to that's a cat title 
and value here let's say t let's say in this case doesn't matter whatever you call it and here stmt2 it called to let's say video video let's say here prepare and here sql2 all right stmt2 execute and okay that's pretty much it i need to bind the unnamed placeholder placeholder let's say cat t with the cat title what you have there okay so if it is work then just let's header location i want to just redirect to categories to that php that's it let's try this i'm going to reload let's call it node jet add or right, it's added here and it started working now let's make the functionality for editing okay so we're going to do this in this video and it's a bit challenging maybe okay no whatever it is also not very hard things okay so for that we have this kind of things here name cat id value we have and here when you click on it it send a post request this is for edit all right let's get update category if it is all right clicked then i'm gonna show right here something about let's say if if here let's say if is set okay if is set here post update category if it is set then i'm going to just closing psp tag here and opening psp tag here i'm going to copy everything from here right and let's say here let's say here this is right so it's pretty cool isn't that and everything's just fine enter category name okay so instead showing here update category update category so let's call it primary all right so it should work i think so now i'm going to just remove this tag from here just put it like this for now okay so i'm going to say if right here inside not here in fact i'm going to say right below this tag now say if is set another is set post add new cat okay then i'm gonna say here give me the cat title or let's say okay cat t equal to let's say post cat title let's change it to cat t and t right cat title and then everything is looks okay just save it and then update it all right I need to use your field a hidden field right here let's call it there all right so for that let's use your import type is called to hidden and here let's say value is called to something let's call it for now id okay just echo here and name let's call it hello no worry about it just it's just a name right and right here i'm going to say post from this field where i clicked all right we'll click here right so we have this input hidden field edit cat id right let's say edit cat id all right that's pretty much it and then we're going to store it in a variable let's call it id and we echo this right here and then we get it like so and we can just here echo let's say cat t it just cat title right cat title it's get from here also let's get the cat id cat id let's say post you know let's say hello let's call it echo cat id too and here i'm going to comment it let's see if it is work just reload 
if we click on this edit we have this let's call it hello something else we click here update all right cat title undefined on line number 13 all right instead name this one we need to say here add new cat update let's call it update category category cat let's say update cat all right so now let's see what's going there we just reload here all right if we click on this edit i already have this each now let's say hello if we click on update all right we have nothing there in fact let's call a echo here something called all right here it should be underscore post right it should work now let's see if we click on here if we click here it should give us one because we select post number one let's something called here update hello one we get one right awesome and just get rid of this now you can update it very easily very easily right so let's create another sql query sql3 let's say all right so update first update categories set cat title is equal to title where all right so where let's say cat id is equal to cat id anyway so now let's see stmt3 is equal to pdo pre prepare here let's say sql3 and then i'm gonna say stmt well, stmt3 stmt3 execute all right into bind first title with cat t and to bind cat id with all right cat id it's variable right sorry it's also a variable all right so now let's see if it is inserted then just send header location let's say categories.php and that's pretty much it now uh, let's see just reload if we click on edit all right here we should get the show the value right here okay so if we click there then we'll show the value what we got from data page all right so for that let's cut it from here and put it right here all right so that's very interesting then got it that post cat id and when i send also the titles to it from here okay let's say title with the hidden form input type hidden let's say name is called to edit cat title value is called to and here let's say echo cat title right and then just close it all right so here this is should close all right so now let's see here edit cat title let's show up there and here tit let's say post edit cat title right and from here i'm going to say tit okay echo and from here let's say value in this field right here let's say value is equal to okay here just echo tit all right let's see now is it if we reload here if we click on edit or we get if we click here we get javascript that's a javascript ttt just update category update it awesome right and that's all about it do you have any questions so far on that all right so one more input we can do that if the field is empty okay right here i could say if the field is empty 
let's say this is first let's make it something like okay trim then if empty cat underscore t sorry echo sorry it can't be empty can't be empty just say that's it and if that this is the cage then let's see it also work this this part also right else only else just cut it there and put it that if we try this out this time reload let's say edit we try to insert this empty something let's say sorry it can't be empty awesome right and that's all and we can give a nice bootstrap alert alert danger and close it that's pretty much it in this video we're going to work with comments here we see two comments it just hard coded right and let's see here we have some post right we have inserted some post no worry about it I just add some post here if we click on this edit sorry in this case not edit in this comments right here three it's clickable right if we click here it sends us to this page comments.php with the post ID all right for if we click this one here okay it sends us with the post ID to here now with this post ID we from database when I grab all the comments related to the post here we see comment post ID right for each comment we have the post ID or the user comment right so let's go to text editor and this is comment.php and right below here t body I'm going to create opening PHP tag and closing PHP tag and here SQL is equal to select everything from comments. All right, where comment post ID is equal to ID, and here is TMT is equal to video prepare, and here is SQL, and then STMT execute. And now we need to bind this unnamed placeholder. For that ID here we're gonna get all right here it is ditch warrant or something else or depending on the user clicked and when I get that right here all right and then we're gonna count how many comment is there okay SDMT row count I'm going to just here echo count if I reload here it's zero right for this post for post one it's three comments in database for post one we see here one two three comments right now let's make this dynamics it's pretty simple actually now I'm gonna see here first and here i'm gonna say while comment i'm gonna i'm using here com short for comment and here is tmt fetch video fetch asok and here comment com id let's say here c id in short com comment id then c underscore comment title whatever it is let's see test it first let's see comment description comment this instead comment here dh comment date here instead see title we're gonna say comment content and 
comment author comment author right and that's pretty much it for now i'm going to close it here the php tag and i'm going to open it right here and now right in between we can write html code just cut this first one and just delete this one and right here i'm going to paste it and just format it okay and instead this hard coded one we're gonna echo the comment id c id here and here comment author echo c author and in here opening and closing psp tag in between echo comment content and when the user click on this title when I send to the post for that in here we need to go back first to the root directory and from there single.php and id is equal to here echo id in this case not cid we need to get the query parameter and instead showing here the post title hard coded we're gonna make it dynamic or depending on the post echo c content all right here c content it's not perfect we need to create another query here right so let's do this right in between opening and closing psp tag sql2 in this case sql1 select everything from post where post id is equal to id stmt1 video prepare sql1 and then stmt1 execute and in here we need to bind the parameter id this is lowercase i and get id now while of while post is equal to stmt1 fetch pdo fetch asoc right here post title is equal to post and post underscore title right below echo post title that's it now it's reload here we have three comments right let's go back to another post if we click here there's nothing right instead showing nothing here we're gonna share something no comments let's make this functionality works for that we have to use here if count if count is equal to zero then say echo no comment and just exit here don't go after this line that's it reload no comments make sense and now we're gonna make the functionality for deleting comments go back click here if you click on delete now it should delete the comment and here we should true trick first delete the comment and update the post comment and just minus one right if we have if any comment just it's mixed minus one all right just decrease if you click on this title here it should take us to the post all right let's take us to this post this post has three comments let's get another one barik hello world just submit let's go back to admin 
reload and we have four comment and let's make the functionality for deleting comment let's go down here under this table under this under this ending table tag opening PSP tag and closing PSP tag and here just delete this button delete button instead input type submit value delete for deleting all edges we should use post request right value is equal to delete then name is equal to delete and just it now right below here first we're gonna detect if we click on this delete import if is set post delete then here just say you clicked on delete see reload it looks like button let's make it look like a link here we can use just a bootstrap clutch button button link reload here okay if we click on delete all right something wrong happened there for if we click on delete it take us to some page all right here insert sending to this html it should have php reload if we click on delete it's a undefined index id line number 31 check it first 31 heritage here this is 31 right okay so i got it here we should also provide an id just echo whatever we have in the query parameter id if we click on admin and then click on this comments and then click on delete and let's say you clicked on delete now let's make the functionality first delete the comment okay delete the comment in comments table table and then update post comment in post table so let's do this first things here sql2 it's called to delete from comments where comment post id is equal to id sq stmt2 is equal to pdo and here prepare sql2 then stmt to execute and to bind the parameter all right here id it also should have colon first and then when i delete this comment right which comment when i delete first let's see if you click on it when i get the comment id how you can get that see that here we have something like something called comment id right so we need to use an input hidden input field here input type hidden and value when i hold here the comment id echo c id and then here just close it that's it also we also need to provide a name here with that we can get the value from here and right below here i'm going to say c id is equal to comment id is equal to post val 
and then here CID now it should work now let's see reload just reload here I will click on this delete it's a undefined method prepare all right so I misspelled it here prepare should be this time just reload click on delete reload again just reload again all right it's not deleted right so what's going wrong there let's see SQL to delete from comments where comment post ID is equal to ID what's wrong here it should work first let's detect it get the correct ID what it will give it just here reload we click on delete we get 13 we click here we get 14 right so everything is okay this is comment and comment post id let's check it there and a comment id right we did the mistake here here it should have comment id now we are deleting the comment and then when it's done then we're gonna send a header to redirect it location comment dot php id is equal to whatever we have just here get id that's it now let's see if it is work back reload it's unexpected on 96 what else Port. reload now click on this delete all right it's deleted if we click here but if we now go back here and you see here it's poor right it's not it should be updated to 3 to on deleting if we would delete then it should update it here right so let's make it working so now we need to update the comment post comment in post table and let's see the post here post and this post comment right I'm going to change it to two because we have not two comment two now let's go back and here it should right here before the header right and we need to use your sql4 is called to update post and set post comment is equal to post comment minus one where post id is equal to let's call it id i'm gonna call it pid instead and then here sql4 is equal to PDO and here prepare and SQL4 and then ST sorry it should be STMT4 STMT4 execute and here need to bind PID here the unnamed placeholder and here get PID alright and that's pretty much it and it should do the trick now let's try this out just reload alright need to log in again the cookie expired we set the cookie for 20 minutes and if we click on this and if we click delete let's go back just reload here or right, it's not updated right so something wrong there I think so here update post update post set post comment is equal to post comment minus one or post id instead i did this mistake just now reload if we click here all right if we click now first let's 
change it to one because we have no one comment and first here let's see reload we have one right if you click here you we'll click delete now let's go back reload it's still don't working so what's wrong there so I think something all right here it should have ID instead I'm absolutely sorry for that reload click there's no comment right so let's change it to zero now zero and here back reload if you click on here this post has one comment right click here delete and go back now see we have zero comment now let's try to add a comment here I'm going to go to our front end local localhost slash blog I'm going to go to this post and here name let's say barrick and comment this is a comment submit another comment let's say John this is a comment submit go back reload we have two comment in this post right click here and we click on delete let's go to our front end we have one comment here let's go back there we have one comment also here make sense now everything worked just perfect now this course is complete at this point if i find any bug in this course i will definitely update it and if you found something that crazy don't worry let me know i'll be glad to fix